Many people often confuse the terms plinth beam and ground beam. What do they actually mean? Where are they used? And why are they necessary? Let's clear all your doubts today with a clear explanation and real-life site-based examples. Let's begin with a basic scenario. Imagine your ground level at the site and just below that lies your foundation or footing. In many real-world cases, the road level outside the plot is higher than your ground level, sometimes by one foot or even more. So during construction, you'll need to raise the plinth level above the road level, usually by one and a half to two feet, to avoid future problems. But why do we raise the plinth level? If your floor level is too close to the road, heavy rains or high groundwater levels can easily allow water and moisture to enter the house. It also invites dust, pests and even flooding in extreme cases. Another concern is that over time, road levels tend to increase due to resurfacing and maintenance. This makes your house appear lower and more exposed. That's why a plinth beam is provided, just above the ground level, to provide a rigid base for the superstructure, prevent uneven settlement, distribute wall loads uniformly, and ensure lateral stability. In short, the plinth beam acts as the starting platform for your superstructure. Now below the plinth beam, we usually fill the space with soil. This process is called backfilling. But if this soil is loose or poorly compacted, it can erode or settle under load, which can lead to structural problems. To retain this filled soil, we construct a brick wall along the periphery. However, this wall rests on soil. And if that soil is weak or clayey, the wall may tilt, crack or even settle over time. To prevent that, we provide a ground beam exactly at the ground level. It's called a ground beam because it is cast right at ground level. And it serves several purposes. It locks the bottom of the brick wall in place, prevents uneven settlement, adds lateral and structural stability, helps distribute loads more effectively into the soil, and it protects the filled area from collapsing or shifting. The ground beam works as an intermediate support system between the foundation and the superstructure, especially useful where soil is loose or the water table is high. Now the question is, when is it necessary to provide a ground beam? You must include a ground beam in cases where the soil is expansive, loose or unstable. The plot level is lower than the road. The ground water table is high. Or you simply want to ensure better long-term stability but in areas with hard rocky soil or where the foundation rests on a strong strata, a ground beam may not be required. 